All right, guys. I've been thinking about this one for a while now because um, I was trying to work out what's the best way of, sort of getting the message across. And I think it's been quite good timing-wise um, for myself. Uh, it's about getting in a rut and getting back out of it because a lot of stuff that um, occurs and I often get people argue with me on a sense of it's all right for you, blah, blah, blah. It, in reality, we all have the same issues, things going on. It's how we deal with them that makes a big difference. Now for me, um, I find the current setup I have quite difficult in the sense of COVID's kept me locked to this area. So I'm not getting my breathing space of going back to Spain every two weeks, etc. Um, it's been very, very restrictive. Um, I'm quite a social person, so um, even this week, uh, it's, it's been a bit of a mess with the old COVID tests. Um, the ones I paid for come back later than the ones that the NHS pinged me for. Um, either way, I come back negative, but, it, but the point being is it's been painful um, for over a year. So for me, I know the feeling. So don't assume it's just somebody talking, oh yeah, it's all right for you. So for me, my goal for this year was the house. The house is now 60% owned. It's about 8% renovated. Um, April and the kids are now moving stuff. So the house is starting to become occupied, um, which in real terms means that my cost of living is about to drop um, at the moment I've got property I rent the mortgage and this place um, so realistically I could drop my cost of living if I quit here today went back to Spain by two-thirds that's reality um, and this is what I'm saying you can get into these ruts quite easily because it's like being here in the UK you get a car to go to work, you um, have somewhere to rent, you have um, the bits and pieces you need just to function. Generally, you know, you might have um, TV, catering staff, all these extra costs that constantly expand your life out and reduce your um, disposable income. Now, because I've been focused on the property, I've had to restrict all the other stuff I normally do. Um, I'm not going to get into work itself, but the, the point being is I've locked myself into stuff that I normally wouldn't put up with. Um, and now that the transition is nearly complete for April and the kids to the new house, costs of living are going, going down. It means that I can focus on expanding out um, to, to get some of my freedoms back. Because um, it's quite funny this morning, I was thinking about it. Some of the times in the Asia has been some of the poorest and some of the wealthiest times I've been. But they've always been mm, better in the sense of because I control everything. You know, in the sense of you're, you're controlling your own destiny. But when you go down the path of working for somebody else, you lose that. And like I said, the, when you've got objectives that you need to achieve, these are your sacrifices. These are the things that you've got to make all these sacrifices to get to this end goal. And the house was my main one this year, so I've had to make it fair old chunk of sacrifices this year. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because you can often just get stuck in that rut because you've set this process in motion and then you realize you can carry on this path or in some cases or many cases, you don't realize you can change the path because you start getting into the routine of life, the hamster wheel. Now, for me, I've already started looking at other options here. Um, I'm looking at some 3D scanning equipment, uh, not for 3D printing, but actually for buildings and um, evolving 
some uh, BIM modeling and other pieces. Got my drone sorted. Got a very expensive printer sat on the floor here that I'm going to start um, testing, getting it run up, and preparing a little side um, venture with that. Air sanitizers with the COVID stuff not dying away. Going to start looking at that more. Um, we also have a few projects ongoing in the Philippines, um, which I'll share once they're a bit more expense, expansive. Um, but ultimately, it's moved. And this is one of the key things that I want to say about if you're stuck in a rut. You're the only person that can change it. You're the only person that can make that decision. And it's not work less, it's work more. It's work smarter, it's find what you want to do, what you want to achieve, where you want to go with it. Um, the house was my objective, that's now, that's there. What's my next objectives? Upgrading my training, starting some of these small projects off, um, expanding my network, getting back on that turning of where I want to be. We're, so we've got one property down, there's another four to go. Um, I don't use the word entrepreneur very often because um, I do think it often gets used and abused too much as a term but I do think the important bit of this is to get your entrepreneurial spirit and see how you can change things if you want to change them. Um, recently I had a friend who had been in engineering probably as long as I've known him which is over 20 years. Um, it is over 20 years and he's moved to baking, he's working as a baker now. The engineering stuff, he was tired of, he was bored of it, he had no interest in it. But he seems revitalized after moving to the baking side of a business. I think, great. You know, people may go, oh, money, money wise, he might be better for an engine. It's not always about money. In fact, um, money can often be the lowest motivator of people. Because once you, once you give them money, they want more. It's, it's a fact. Um, it's often about the work environment, about how people are treated, and this is why the the great um, resignation is going on in the U.S. People have been treated badly for a long period of time, and a lot of corporate view is just giving more money. But the problem is that's not the solution. A lot of people have realised um, they can change their life. They can change their lifestyles. If they work from home, they don't need to have the expensive car. The kids have left home, I can have a smaller house. I can cut my cost of living right down. For me, it's gone from like three properties where I currently am, down to two. This one and the one in Spain. If I reduce this one, that would reduce it further. So the point being is, there is always opportunity there. Often we get bogged down in the wrong things in the sense of we bog ourselves down in oh somebody needs to do this oh somebody needs, you need to do it you need to do it you need to change this stuff you need to pull your finger out if you want to change now don't get me wrong i've had friends for years i've been trying to help and i don't sit there and nag them i'm not that i was gonna say not not their wives i can't say that anymore it's not PC, um, but I can give advice like this, and as I say to people, you can take it or leave it. But for me, I know when I get locked into, um, like stuck in a certain way, I need to change it, and I'm doing it. Um, so the important message there is, if you are stuck in a rut, which is often leads to things like depression and other things, realize that it's often the stuff around you creating that issue but you need to pull yourself out of it there's no point going pity me all this stuff because often there is nothing interesting in helping you um they'll just go isn't he a miserable whatever isn't he always on the negative isn't he or there's no depth of thought in many cases it's it's often very 
Oh, I, I did speak to him, so uh, I must be helping him with his well-being. But you haven't actually wanted to get too involved or interested in the real problems. Maybe his wife left him. Maybe his daughter's sick. Maybe um, he's stressed, overworked, and tired, or whatever. Ticking a box doesn't fix it. But ultimately, I think a lot of you guys, if you are in that sort of situation, you can change it. You just got to get get your head around it. Um, a lot of, a lot of time it's finances. Finances come and go, mate. Finances come and go. If you're in financial difficulty, what the, what are they going to do to you? If you've got nothing, they can't take anything. Guess that. Guess what? There's nothing left, you know. So if you think you've hit rock bottom, then guess what? The only way is up. Do something about it. Change your life. Um, but you've got to understand that a lot of this is around the situation. Um, life is supposed to be hard. Life is supposed to be crap. A lot, the um, percentages I find are a bit manipulated anyway. I mean, Boris is getting a hammering at the moment um, over the whole Christmas PR party fiasco. But from my experiences, I've met many a Boris over the years, and they don't care anybody about about anybody but themselves, in my opinion. Um, and they often use networks to manipulate for things for themselves or their friends so that you can keep a top tier. That's part of life. There's no point in even getting dragged into that nonsense because you ain't going to change it. Not unless you're going to overthrow the government, <laughs> uh, which I don't think any of you guys are planning on doing. Now, I have to admit, I was really happy to see Jay uh, from Australia who's actually moved off now um, and start travelling again because um, he was stuck in Australia for ages um, but he, he, he sorted himself out he went out and done well financially um, and now he's enjoying it and I was chatting to him the other day and I'm just saying won't be far behind now because the main thing for me is see two different models here in the sense of uh, financials I've got a wife, kids and I support um, family members in the Philippines in different ways. Um, you know, if they want to set a business up, I'll help them get going. Um, but ultimately, I've got a lot of responsibilities. <laughs> Jay, Jay's in single man town, um, which is a bit easier. Because um, obviously, I've got a lot of responsibilities and a lot of people relying on me, where Jay's relying to look after himself. As long as he's doing that, he's all right. So you can take more risks. Um, me, too many people relying on me at the minute. Um, I know from the, the MGTOW stuff, you may think, ah, oh, that's all right. No. Men, they go their own way. I get it. Um, at the same time, I also understand I'm happily married. Um, I have a pretty pretty good lifestyle compared to many others. Um, I'm... I'm not doing too bad. I've got nothing to really grumble about. Um, and like, if I'm not happy about something, I can change it. Um, I'm just glad we're now at the end of the year because we've achieved so much in that period of time. And like I said, the rock piece, I just wanted to share. I get into it myself sometimes. But one of the things my wife will tell you is, even when I'm having a really, really bad day, I go to bed and I wake up and go, it's another day. It's a new day, start again, and start the wheels turning. And like I said with the uh, work play piece, you do need goals in life. Some people say, no, don't do that, just blah, blah. If you're hopping around stuff, that is also counterproductive, because you'll use a lot of energy and struggle to get anything completed. What you want is a focused approach. Um, mine at the moment, um, I'm lo looking at, um, my SIBZ, um, Chartered Institute of Building Services Engineers, and my RICS, Royal Institute of Chartered Surveyors, 
as members, you know, for membership. You've got to do interviews and stuff to do it. Um, those are key elements for next year um, because it, it rubber stamps what I do. Um, but the point being is not really needed them um, for years because most of the work I've done has um, been on credibility, work I've done previously. Um, but I want to do that for myself. The same as, like I said, I've got these other projects I'm looking at, other um, cool stuff I'm working on. Um, but that's because I've now got the house, that's security for the wife, security for the kids. I drop dead, it's all insured. Um, they're on the right path, regardless. Now I can start moving to a bit more focused on taking more risks to generate a better income. Um, well, it's not really income to be fair. It's actually to do with freedom for time. I want to be in Spain more. Don't get me wrong, I probably couldn't do Spain 24 seven. Um, not permanently because I like to be busy. I like to be social. I like to be, you know, unless I was running several businesses there and doing something, I would struggle. Um, but we'll see where that goes. Because at the moment, the whole COVID situation has done that, whatever thing. It doesn't matter what ideas I've got there for Spain at the moment. Um, the I think the tourism's dropped horrendously um, from external tourism, by the way. Because the stats I've seen were sort of saying, oh, it's way down, the Brits haven't gone there. It's like, yeah, but there's been a lot of Spaniards on holiday in Spain this year. Don't mention those, but that's the reality. There's been a lot of internal tourism. In fact, there's been shops and shops and places I would have expected to be closed that stayed open all year because there's been that many people come from, say, Madrid and Barcelona. I go, well, we're going to be locked down, might as well be the summer house. Um, so my view is just realise that if you're in a rut you've got to do something about it if you don't you can't grumble about it because opportunities are there you know like I said what you've got with this great resignation and the changes going on with everything is opportunity media will just keep pushing everything down you know oh tourism's down um what do you call it? Uh, hospitality's down. COVID testing's up. What about a website? Why not buy, buy and sell the COVID test kits without doing anything? Because if you have a look at the state of those websites on the gov.uk website, most of them look like they were thrown together in a couple of hours. Just a thought. There's a lot of opportunities out of there. Um, but for me, I'm glad this year is nearly over because obviously it's been a bit of a painful year um, and some very positive stuff Barcelona trip was amazing um, it's been great spending time with the family although like I said I want to spend more time with the family now I need to focus on taking us to the next level um, and that was the point of the video although I say this stuff it's often from experience, it's often from research, it's often from thoughts. Um, but ultimately, like this, if you're in a rut, you need to move forward. No one can do it for you. It's the same as if you know somebody's in a rut. You can only point them in a direction. If they can't motivate themselves, you'll struggle. You'll really, really struggle. You might be completely wasting your time at that point. Um, but everything's achievable. If you, <laughs> the other way to look at it, if you're in this rut and stay in that rut, guess what changes? Nothing. Nothing. Do something about it, even a small change, like going for a walk in the evening or something in the park. Might lose a bit of weight. Might feel a bit healthier. Might feel a bit more weights off your shoulder because walking, walking is healthy like that. But the point is, you may only need a small change to make things better. And that's why I like stepping stones, doing stuff in small bits. Massive leaps take high risks. Um, but high risks, high rewards. Depends on the person. But either way, the 
person who's in control of the decision making is you. Thanks for watching.